Hey, I'm Michael with Jellyfish Lighting. Today we're in American Fork, Utah, and we're going to look at installing jellyfish lighting on a home and the clip system that we use for installing our lights. There you go. So my name is Joseph, I'm with Jellyfish Lighting. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to use the new Mark V clips with the Mark V track and the Mark V lights. So typically you're gonna use three clips per stick. You're gonna put one clip behind the first light, just like so in between the J channel. So it's going to set up on the J channel. Yeah, we'll, we'll film that in a second. Okay, then you're gonna go two, four, five lights in, put another one in the center. And then once we get our second stick up, you'll put one on the seam. So let's get up the ladder and put this one up. <laughs> Can you just really fast, like while it's up there, kind of illustrate the, the fascia lip and how the clip slides into it again? I know you just put the one in holding it up. Yep. Can you just show with one other just to the side? Not actually screwing it in, but showing how it fits on there, like how the system works right there. Yeah, absolutely. So with the clip, you have these little ridge edges. One edge goes right underneath the J channel of the fascia, just like that. And then the back side, we typically try to put in the center between the two lights on a ridge if we can, preferably for support. And then we just zip it up. When you say on a ridge, is that where the fold is? Because the fold's yep. a little stronger than the flat? Yep, Okay. absolutely. Okay. You're not always gonna land where you can put a screw in the ridge, but it does help. Okay, perfect. Now, I assume that those clips also are a little more forgiving because you can leave some gaps in between the sticks? Yeah, um, typically, I'm not going to advise we do that because you want to keep your light spacing. But if there is, there is room for error. But I mean like eighth of an inch, quarter uh, inch, not like about, inch or two. You have about a quarter of an inch. So even though you have more separation between the sticks and you can cover it with the clip, the lights will only allow for about a quarter of an inch okay. spacing. Just the, the extra space that's between each light? Yep. There we go. And then I'm assuming you paid attention to your light direction because these should be going from right to left, correct? These should be coming from the corner of the garage where my home run is. This way, yes, okay. correct. Left. Perfect. And then you've got a little notch cut out. Your 45 will go on the next stick. Yep, that'll be my miter. And if you notice, I left a light hanging out from my corner. That's because it's easier to fold that corner with one light and okay. tie in okay. than if I was to just leave those wires hanging out of the, it, it, you'd just be fighting okay. that corner. Perfect. Thank you. So on this house, we're running our lines. We're gonna be installing the front of the house. And this homeowner actually previously self-installed an LED system. That's what these wires that wrap around the roof are. And this uh, kind of, brown colored rope, I guess, might be the best way to put it. You can see it right there on the corner, uh, right between the fascia and the rain gutter. They installed that on the front of the house. They actually did probably about two thirds of the front of the house. You can see it run up the peak there, put it in a different place running up there. Uh, and just never quite finished it. And it didn't do all the things that jellyfish lighting does so they decided to put jellyfish lighting on the home. It's just a close-up on that previous lighting system we had. It looks like it's a bit of a clip and cover and tube 